Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I'm gonna give you a little tour of all of my system, including my recent purchase from Tidal Gardens. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Silly me, you know I should have cleaned the glass, but I hope you enjoy the video anyway. Um, this first one up is the Harry Green Rolactus. It's a mushroom, it's so nice. Um, doesn't require much of anything. It's a mushroom. That is the green leather cabbage or green cabbage leather. Sorry. That is frog spawn. It's got green stalks with purple tips, and for now it's doing good. Those are the pallies. Some people call them button polyps. They're doing good. About 60 heads there. That is one of the Tidal Gardens A cans that I just recently got. Don't know what it is. That is the remaining head of my green hammer. That head seems to be doing good. Those are some other pallies. They're doing good. I just put them there on a dead uh, skeleton, hoping that they'll spread onto it. That's uh, my former beautiful torch. And those two are my Provonas. The one on the frag is the blue Provona. And I apologize for um, my camera not auto-focusing pretty good. It is the lighting. This camera does not do that outside of this aquarium. That is the Phyllides. Maybe Warp Coral. I didn't want to put him there intentionally, but now he's encrusted to a coral. That's a good sign, but... Uh, maybe down the road when he grows, I may have to move my Pavonas. That is a mint pavona. I got just a little, teeny little thing. It, it, it just, it was just like a little branching thing, and it's grown pretty good. Uh, the yellow polyps. They initially liked the tank. Within ten minutes, I'm very happy with that. Um, those are the metal yellow zoanthids, and they're a little bit closed because I recently just put them onto that rock. And that is my yellow fungia plate coral. He was a lot more tiny when I got him, so he's growing pretty good. Pretty happy with him. I think he was about maybe quarter size. He's about maybe, let's say, three times the size of that now. His tentacles are always out, no matter how much I feed him or whatever. These zoanthids, um, I actually do like them on the blue actinics. Um, their green pops out tremendously. I do not know what they are though, so I can't tell you off my head. Uh, those are, I believe, scrambled eggs, I was told when I got them. And they're spreading pretty good. I only got three heads when I got them. And I'd say about seven or eight heads now. That leather coral. Um, the polyps were extended a little bit, but I kind of messed around behind them. So now he's a little angry at me. And so is the green star polyps. Same reaction. Kind of messed behind the, that rock, per se. Those zoanthids, I really don't know what they are. Um, I think it's got three or four different types in that same um, rock there. And it's going pretty good. That's the red plating Monty. Uh, like I said, I've always wanted one of these. And I'm glad that I got the red one. Even though they're very common, but red gives a little nice uh, 
color contrast to the tank. And uh, this guy right here is angry with me too. Um, that is the Sinarina. I keep always forgetting how it's pronounced. Sinarina, Sinarina, whatever. Um, also known as Meat Quo. That guy right there is. Uh, whoa. Brain fart. Um, I was doing research and they said a lot of research. And most the consistent answer that I got with that is that to keep it at low light and uh, medium flow, medium to low flow. So I just put him there somewhat in a shelter, see how it does. That is the famous $25 A-can. I think I'm going to call him 25 simply because, but he's got green. Um, the lighting doesn't do any justice against this camera to highlight the green on that that monster Jesus he's grown so big I mean I got him so tiny he's I think he's grown ten times the size than when I first got him he's very responsive to food the zinnias come and go um, they kind of tell me a sign so I keep them flat um, the purple plum I noticed that the polyps come out at night when the lights are off. When the lights are on, they retract. So I'm gonna do more re uh, research upon that, see if that's natural or anything, but it don't matter to me as long as it looks healthy. Kenya trees, which is my most hated coral, they spread everywhere, but you know, they fill up space until I find something for it, so it's not a problem. Uh, the yellow trumpets with teal centers. I mean, did I say yellow trumpets? I said purple trumpets. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the yellow scroll uh, during the power outage, he actually, um, he actually shrunk on me, and he's doing pretty good now. He's recovering very, very good. So I'm happy with that. He's actually extending now. Polyps are extended, and he's recovering pretty good. That Duncan right there. Uh, he's recovering. I mean, I had at least like 20 heads on that, maybe more. And I've probably got like seven now. Um, that is. Ooh, brain fart again. Hmm, I believe that's the Samakora. And the pink Parcelopora. And I believe on to the right side, if you can see, the polyps are not that extended. I think it has too much flow on that side. So I may have to move the power head just a little bit. Or move, move the console power itself. I'm not really sure. And that's my tomato clown. That is my second fish. She is uh, five years old. The Clarky is maybe four and a half years old. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I think between that Clarky and my Maroon Clown are about the same size and they're around close to four inches. Maybe three and a half to four inches. <clears throat> That's my three stripe damsel. Um, I don't mind my damsels, they actually make weird noises at me. When I'm doing maintenance in the tank and whatever. Um, but, you know, they, they got their temper, but they got a good personality. Right now, the Maroon Clown is, uh, I don't know where he's at. He's been doing that lately. I don't know if I, I think I'm going to have to do some uh, more investigating. So, anyways, I just turned off the lights from the Flugel Marina Reef uh, 2.0. I actually turned on the 10k for that light just for video purposes um because you can you guys can see the coloring better but this is my actual lighting um and i like it better it's 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 not too warmish it's got a, uh, a cool tint to it 
obviously. Um, but also because it's it's a lot of blue because of the fluval uh, LED. Um, it's, I think it's just since it's a long strip, it shows more blue on the camera. Now this is on the camera, guys. Uh, in real life, it does not look like that. It's a lot brighter. But you know how cameras work with these lightings. Very finicky. They work, or they don't, but I have no control of that. And in, also in the camera, it's a lot darker in contrast, and I cannot, since it's actually a photo camera, not an actual video camera, I cannot, I don't have any setting to control the contrast or make it brighter. So that's uh, out of my control. I really like that dude. Now you see how the green pops up? Now in real life, they pop up really, really like it, it's it's like a forced green, but really vibrant and bright. And that's my tank, guys.